Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be doing another one of those weekday box openings like I did last week. Um, before I get into it though, make sure you guys hit that like and subscribe button. But anyway, uh, I'm going to start out with the Monday boxes. Um, this is actually a voiceover, which I know is not as entertaining. However, I was actually on vacation for the last week. Uh, had a great time and I'm finally back to make videos for you guys. Um, yeah, I did screen record the opening box though, and collectively throughout the week I spent 10,000 gold. So let's just see how I do. Um, we have the Grip and Rip box for Monday. Uh, there's the odds in the players. If I remember correctly, it had 440 Sectric Mullins and then 480 Jack Clark Legend. And those were the two guys I actually really wanted. And first box we got is David Fletcher. Gonna level him to Bronze 10. But yeah, uh, I actually like this Monday box a lot because both the Legend and the uh, Outfielder would have fit nicely on my team. And we'll see shortly what I get. Um, but now I'm going to spend gold on the uh, normal Grip and Rip box. I've been playing club events, so I've been getting a lot of gold. But at the same time, I haven't been getting CVC, which sucks. Um, but there's a nice repool of David Fletcher. And let's see what I get next counter does not reset and I get prime XP um, so so far I haven't gotten really anything um, and nothing David Fletcher and let's see what I get next uh, gonna click my fair words actually and here we go uh, I'm gonna open that number two box first I assume yep uh, 1400 prime XP and then I'm going to open my Fan Rewards boxes. Brett Phillips, who I'm going to take to Bronze 10. Um, and again, this isn't live. This is a voiceover of just basically how I was thinking. I uh, would have preferred it to be live. But of course, like I said, I was on vacation. Um, and then there's Angelton Simmons, who I'm also going to level to Bronze 10. This Bronze 10 trick has actually made me a good amount of blue XP. So I'd recommend trying it out for yourselves. If you're dying to get blue XP like I was. Um, still am, actually. Um, but, oh, counter reset. Let's see who I got. And, gonna wait. And, Austin Riley. So, no luck there. Only got the 420, which sucks. However, definitely gonna take him for the event on Monday. Um, level him to bronze 10, just in case I repool him again. And, yeah, let's keep opening this box. Because, again, I like the 440 and the 480 a lot, so I wanted to get at least one or the other. Probably not going to get them, but you never know. And, oop, uh, counter reset. Let's see what I got. And, boom, Jack Clark. Let's go. Uh, going to send a screenshot to the club, of course. Uh, I was so excited to get him. I mean, odds were just, like, 0 0.7, I believe. So, amazing luck. Uh, definitely needed that. And, yeah, Basically, uh, technically my first legend of the year, so I was super excited. Um, let me know if you guys have gotten a legend in the comments down below so far. I think a lot of people actually have gotten a legend by now. Um, but yeah, now I'm going to level Jack Clark to gold 10. Um, and yeah, just cap in there, because I know I'm not going to repool him, obviously. But yeah, there's a stat. Uh, has some pretty nice skills. Uh, I think I put a bonus game X factor on him, I want to say. I don't remember. But yeah, basically just going to cap him to gold 10. I have a decent amount of legend XP from getting first in club events, which was nice. And yeah. But I'm not done opening these boxes yet, of course. And now I'm just going to get some cash, basically. Um, yeah, I need cash to level Clark's skills all the way up. But let's see what I do here. Uh, cash, cash, cash. Love to see it from loyalty boxes. I feel like I usually get like Evo and uh, franchise coins from these, so I was glad to get cash. And yeah, basically I'm just gonna level Clark's skills here. And and still short. <laughs> gonna get some more cash. Here I'll make a cut for you guys. And oh, we're gonna spend gold here. Um, looks like I got Legend XP. Again, I wanted Cedric Mullins because I'm low in outfielders, so that's why I'm still opening boxes here. So I got literally everybody else in the box. And also I wanted this box for sets and the event. And let's see if I get the player, and I do. 
So yeah, Monday was a really good event for me as you guys could tell. But anyway, I'm going to transition to Thursday. Alright guys, so it is Thursday, or me voiceovering Thursday. Uh, this was the Field of Dreams event, pretty cool event. Um, and I wanted to open the corn, uh, Cornfield Madness box, forgot what it was called there. Um, so I wanted Brett Gardner and I wanted Jake Lamb for a set. Um, but I mainly wanted Brett Gardner because I still need to fill that outfield spot. Uh, like I mentioned earlier. So yeah, let's get opening here. Uh, this box does have a counter. Usually these boxes don't have a counter. So I was glad to see it have a counter. And first box is Prime XP. Um, which sucks. Because I was hoping to get at least Lamb pretty early on. And next box is Prime XP. Um, but yeah, I was hoping to get Lamp early on because it's like a 50% chance, but usually my luck goes pretty south with <laughs> uh, boxes like this. And there's Legend XP. Um, let's see what I get next. And there's Jake Lamb. Boom. So, glad I got him because uh, I got a set. Still couldn't score many points though, but at least I got Jake Lamb. And now I'm going to collect my Farm Wards, I believe. Uh, yep. Got one of those olive board boxes. Again, uh, I didn't want to open these. Or actually, I haven't explained this yet. Um, but basically, I didn't want to open these because the players in them wouldn't be good for my team, honestly. Um, but next, I'm going to open Player of the Week boxes a couple hours later. And see what I get. Again, 50% chance, but... 50% chance in TSB <laughs> um, definitely plays different for me, um, as, as you'll see soon. But there's George Springer. I was actually hoping for a CJ Crone uh, for a set, and that's why I'm opening this Player of the Week box. So it sucked to get George Springer. So after this, I'm going to open more of these boxes, uh, see if I can get Crone. And we're about to see that 50% uh, <laughs> luck that's supposedly what the odds are supposed to be. Um, but yeah, let me first put George Springer in the lineup. But yeah, now I'm going to try to get CJ Crone. And let's just see how I do. So, uh, and bo each of these is 650 gold, by the way. Um, let's see how I do. Um, Prime XP. I was getting mad that I couldn't get Crone, but let's see what I... Maybe I'll get him next box. We'll see. And... No, Prime XP. I think you guys are going to see how this goes. Basically, I just kept pulling Prime XP, and it was getting really annoying. Um, also, uh, internet was bad. But yeah, I keep pulling Prime XP here. Um, let's see. Boom, Prime XP. Um, so that's like three in a row. That's like, you know, 2,000 gold without pulling a player of the week, which was really, really annoying. And now I'm going to collect some more fan rewards. And... Open another one. Who knows, maybe I'll get CJ Crone. Eh? Got to wait a little. <laughs> I don't know why I waited. And boom, eventually got him. So... Uh, but it, it cost me like 5,000 gold just to get those player of the weeks, which was really... <laughs> got on my nerves. Um... I was getting quite mad because it's a 50% chance yet. It didn't feel like a 50% chance. But now I'm just going to open some all board boxes. Did get Adam Duvall, which was nice from that box. And oh, counter reset on this box. And boom, JT Real Muto. Um, he was nice for a set as well. And But yeah, that'll basically do it for today, actually. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Take care and have a great day.